Okay, good morning and welcome to a show that revolutionized the world of sports, Umamesune. Now, last, well, I'm pretty sure everyone enjoyed the holidays. I'm pretty sure everyone enjoyed Christmas. I'm pretty sure it has got their gifts, you know, the gifts you wanted, you know, a day of remembering the moments that you spend time with your friends and family. And I'm pretty sure everyone has caught up on a few anime shows. Now, I, for one, have caught up on a few shows during my Christmas breaks and all that. So it's going to take me a while to catch up on these videos. Now, Umesune. You know, notice I'm not wearing any anime shirt. This is an all black shirt because... This episode is dedicated to one horse girl who is, who's, been, who's been my favorite since episode one, Kitasan Black. I love Kitasan Black since day one. We have seen Kitasan Black at her moments. We have seen Kitasan Black when she's at her peak. We've seen Kitasan Black struggles through the highs and the lows. There are moments that we scream for her to win. There are moments that we question if she's going to win or not. And notice, and Kiss on Black has given every fan of us to talk about this show on a regular basis. And Kiss on Black has been my favorite one again. We have seen her rivalry with Duramonte. We have seen her friendship rivalry going on with Diamond. We have seen other characters grow from because, because of Kitasan Black. People like Sounds of Earth. People like Crown. People like Shiva Grand. You know, characters like them. But when I look at Kitasan Black, her determination to the will of racing is in her blood. Moments when she's going down the cliff but she's rising back up. Now, if you think last week was a race that was so emotional in that one, this one takes the cake. Fellas, everybody who watched my channel, everybody who was a huge fan of Umesune, understand this. It warms my heart to see this show and even know I heard that we're getting a fourth film next year in May. So season four confirmed. But this episode is all black because this episode, I'm dedicating this to Kiddus on Black. And this episode did it for me. So without further ado, let's get right to the review of Umesune <sighs> season three, episode 13. Because this is going to be a huge blow. So. The biggest race is happening. Notice I mentioned earlier in the video about the whole Christmas thing because this last race of Kitasan Black was on Christmas Eve. Everybody from all over the world was waiting for this moment. For this moment. You know, Kitasan Black gave us so many memories of, of season three that I have no bad mouthing to say about her. Not even one. I never once hated her, saying, "Oh, she's my least favorite horse girl. Oh, she sucks. She why she even exists." I, not about that. I, look, I saw this episode and I fell in love with this kid. It's on black. The determination, the willpower. Like, what can you? It's like these last two races has proven us that she is one without a doubt the best horse girl of this generation. If you would ask me who's the GOAT of season three, I would damn well say Kid is on Black, hands down. Now, <sighs> this race was more important to me. It was like WrestleMania. It was like the Super Bowl. You had to sit down and watch this last race go and fold. The entire episode was the entire race. 
That's what made this episode so fucking beautiful. Excuse my language, but it has to be said. It was so fucking beautiful. The first five minutes, everybody was getting prepared for it. Everybody from all over the world was getting prepared. But being prepared. Even the two side characters that was that you know always in the stadium and talking about the race and they meet the two other new people, the new generation of people talking about the race. This was the race. Even the shop owners in the markets, um, even the street, yeah, the street owners, the fish market owner, the fruit market owners, every owner in the street market in the streets was looking for for Kita Sun Black because Kita Sun Black was a helpful to the community. And for for this race, everybody was in on it. I felt this vibe when season two did it. It was like the end. It felt like the end of season two when you saw Tokateo racing in that last freaking effort, and I was busting tears just 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 watching this. This one burst me into tears. I know you can't see my eye, but I was bursting into tears watching this one. So the race was on. Kita on Black, oh my god. Once that race started, Kita on Black was in the freaking lead. And I was like, please, 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 please. Yo, I was praying the entire time. My heart was racing. I could feel my pulse. I was looking at her. Please, Kita on Black. I was praying. Her. And as Kita on Black was running towards the freaking line, running, 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 she saw. A, that little shimmer, glimmer of hope when all the fans, like myself, were screaming, go, go, go. We was in. I mean, seriously, I was like, yeah, come on, come on, come on. That moment when she saw everybody told her to run, run. She's like, I can run, I can run, I can run. I want to run, I want to run, I want to run. She was like, I want to run, I want to run. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> come on, kids. I was praying for her. Everybody was crying. The f trainer was crying. Everyone was crying. And oh, by the way, special. Um, I'm by the way, Kita sounds black. I mean, her new outfit. It's like what way to go out in a blaze of glory than her final outfit. That's all I'm trying to say. But anyway, going back to what I said, trainer was was crying. Her, his team was crying special week. Shan Suzuka, Ghost Ship, you know, Tokateo, McQueen. Um, the, the 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 people in the stands were crying. The 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 audience, the, the announcer was crying. The fucking the it was even the owners in the market was crying. Everybody was crying. I was crying too. I was crying too. Sorry, I was in the moment. I'm sorry. I was in the moment when Kita on Black was running. And when she, f and no one couldn't catch up to her. Her determination was the reason her will and ever given up. And she won the freaking race. She won the race. I had to, you know, when she won the race, I was bursting in tears. I was bursting in tears. I wish I would have recorded myself doing that. But still, I... When she won, I freaking loved it. She won. I was happy. Even her nature senpai was crying too. I felt loved by that. She had, I, I wanted her to win so bad. And she did. I mean, I'm not like saying like, oh, this, but, but she had to win. Now, it's sad for me that we didn't get... Kita Sun Black and Duramonte racing against each other. It's sad for me that we didn't get that race. Truth be told, I really wanted that race. I wanted that race so bad since the beginning. How now? Even though we didn't get this, even though we didn't get that race, I was real happy again to see Kita Sun Black winning. I was so in touch by it. It was so beautiful that she won. And then, and then I had, and then the, the whole audience had their glow sticks out before, like, no, matter of fact, go back a bit. They were like, Kita Sun, Kita Sun. I always felt that too. I was like, Kita Sun Black, Kita Sun Black. And the thing is, that's her seventh G1 victory. 
she surpassed Tokai Teo, who, who she look up to. And, and Tokai Teo is okay with that. And I love, and you're talking about passing the torch. This was passing to the torch. Kita Sun Black has done so much for this episode. You cannot badmouth her anywhere. And then they gave us a performance, a full, like, the full performance. You know how, like, when it comes to, like, the top three they perform? That's what they gave us. It was so beautiful to watch that everyone was had their glow sticks. Everyone was crying of happiness. And then they showed Kita Sun Black father at the time, you know, when she would, you know, showing how proud she is. Now, the next day, I mean, like, years after that, we see... The young horse girls moving on. These kids moving on to the next generation, like going to this school. It's like you look back, you're thinking about generational talent is coming. And you see Kia Sound Black at the end with her with all of her friends. It's safe to say that what a way to go out in a blaze of glory. This was the best episode this season now here's the thing I understand Umesune may not be the talk the high cues of the world the blue locks of the world the crocodile basket of the world all those other sports animes y'all watch but this show particularly Umesune I'm telling you right now you may not, it may not be a real life sports compared to all those, but this show, this sports show in general is the best sports anime we have gotten. I, I understand Blue Lock, don't get me wrong, and Haikyuu, who cares? This is about Ubenbe Sune and how it's better than all of them. And I'm debating that right now. Three seasons? OVAs, ONAs, and we're going to go fourth one, fourth film next year? Please, go watch Umesune. You're not going to regret it. Go freaking watch it. And I'm telling you right, oh my God. I'm telling you, please, please watch it. Because I've been talking about it since. But overall though, this was a great, no, not great. S plus tier episode because for Kiddos on Black to go out like this is is beautiful. It's so freaking beautiful. You can't turn your eyes on it. You really can't. So, Kiddos on Black, you are my favorite horse girl this season, and there's nothing you can't know about it. So, overall though, great episode. A 10 out of 10 series. A 10 out of 10. Every Umesune season is a 10 out of 10. And this one is the best. Now with season four, season four, a new generational talent's approaching. Maybe they go, maybe they go further with Diamond's story. Because again, Diamond wants to race again. So we'll see if they're gonna focus on Diamond, Duramante, or the others as to move on. We'll see where it goes. So I look forward for next year's of Umesune, and I'm looking forward to it for years to come of the generational talent we have. So I look forward to it and I'm sure you will. 